Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn how to configure elements using the Element Settings menu. The Element Settings menu enables us to control how the element is displayed, when it is displayed, and how the respondents will interact with it. Let's start by learning where the Element Settings menu is displayed. Once an element is selected, its Settings menu will be displayed in the right-hand column. The options displayed in the menu will vary in accordance with the element's type and functionality. Let's examine the options using two types of input elements, a text area and a survey list. A text area is one of several open-ended questions available to us on Titan Survey. A survey list is one of the numerous closed questions available to us on Survey. Let's start with the text area. To start making changes to the element, click the element and the content tab will open. As we can see, the settings menu includes several options. For example, we can set a default value that is automatically filled in when the respondent opens the survey. Inserting a user tip will help respondents know what information to provide. And the maximum length parameter can limit responses to a specific number of characters. Now, let's look at an example from the text area's interactivity settings. Enabling the clear icon is commonly used for text input elements. This deletes all current input and helps respondents retype their answers if needed. Let's continue now to our second type of input element, the survey list. Select the element, and its settings menu will open in the right-hand corner. Under the content tab, we can set static and dynamic values for this element. Static values are entered manually, whereas dynamic data is mapped from Salesforce. Dynamic values will be discussed extensively in our advanced course, and additional information is also available on our support website. Select the Static Values radio button and click on Edit Mapping. We can set the options by typing them in the label and value fields. To add or remove choices from our list, use the Add or Delete buttons. There are several additional options in this menu, including uploading values from a CSV file. To learn more about these options, visit the Support Center on our website. Now we can set how users interact with the list using the Interactivity tab. As we can see, Titan Survey provides us with extensive customization options. For example, we can easily shuffle the answers so that each respondent receives the options in a different order. This is effective when using Titan Survey to conduct tests. Another commonly used feature is the mandatory restriction. By enabling this parameter, we will force the respondents to answer the question. To summarize, the options available to us on the Element Settings menu are dependent on the chosen element. The Elements Display options are defined in the Content tab. The Interactivity tab determines how respondents interact with the elements. In the next lesson, we will summarize what we've learned in this chapter.